G'day guys, Mr. Bennett here. Uh, today what we're going to do is talk about making magnets. So uh, if you want to make an electromagnet, you simply wrap a uh, wire around a metal, metal object and while you've got current going through the wire, that produces quite a strong magnet. If you don't put the current through the wire, then basically it becomes unmagnetic. So that's the idea that's really useful when you, when you want to pick stuff up and you want to dump it somewhere as in a, like a uh, scrap disposal uh, place where you might be you know, pulling out metal parts. You can just put your magnet on, um, run, the, run the stuff through there, and then turn the magnet off, it will drop to the thing and you can collect it. Now, so simply what I've tried to draw here is a spiral of wire, okay? Now, if you imagine if you were looking from maybe this direction here, this is where my eye is looking from, Okay, so if you're looking from that direction now, I think that uh, the Y at this end would be looking like that. Okay, and if you're looking over here, um, if I've got my current going this way, right, so obviously it's got to be looking at opposite directions if I'm looking from the other end as well. So, you know, if I'm looking from that end there, we need to try and work out what that particular is going to be, whether it's going to be a north or a south end. Okay, and a little trick here that I do is by using the, the S, okay, and using the, the north. Okay, so this particular case, we're saying this over here is the north end and that there is the south end. Alright, so obviously if you've got a magnet, okay, it's really important to understand that magnets are no different from when we start looking at the charged particles. If we have, say, a north end and a south end, we want to draw field lines around that. Okay, so we have our field lines going, obviously we're going to have a field line going straight there. Uh, and then we're going to have our other field lines sort of going in a trying to make this look like it's a um, sort of fairly uniform sort of shape. Now the direction of the field lines go from north to south, so they'll have to be going in that direction there. Alright, and so no, it's, they're coming in over here and they're going out over there. So trying to be uniform and try and be, you know, don't put too many lines in there. Um, but that's showing you that the field lines are around, the, around a permanent magnet. Right, and you've probably done that in the junior science where you put your iron filings on there and you draw the field lines and all that sort of stuff. So you, you might see this in, a, in an exam sort of question, so you need to understand where you can predict whether that's going to be a north end or a south end.